Hello, Aspiran. This is Ranjit from Shankara IAS Academy. Today, SBA announced a vacancy for clerical, actually recruitment of junior associate, customer supports and sales. Uh, this is a clerical job. Uh, they announced vacancy 5,000 plus. Actually, aspirants are expecting SBA PO, but uh, SBA clerical announced. But anyhow, when I compare to IBBS clerical, this is a good number. 5,000 vacancy is a good number. So that... Um, maximum vacancies has given like uh, Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra because uh, Maharashtra 747 it's a maximum the second maximum is 631 Uttar Pradesh so these are the vacancy has given the maximum vacancy like Tamil Nadu category around 355 vacancies Last year, a cutoff was 82 plus. It is a maximum uh, cutoff for preliminary. And in Tamil Nadu, like uh, 65 plus uh, cutoff out of 100. Uh, Uttarakhand is getting a maximum, like uh, 82 plus. So here, uh, we can able to get 82 plus marks uh, because of uh, the question is also very easy. Uh, like a uh, similar paper like IBBS clerical because uh, student, they can write, uh, they can wrote RRB examination clerical and uh, RRB examination PO and the next one is IBBS uh, clerical examination so that they will practice in the examination so that they can be able to get 80 plus marks in this exam because SBA clerk the paper was paper is very very easy uh, definitely they given very easy paper so you may get uh, uh, like more than 80 plus marks actually we have a scoring areas the scoring area is nothing but like uh, data interpretation for quants exam quants uh, data interpretation, numerical ability, number series. So these are the scoring area. Along with the scoring area, like uh, adding with the application sums, definitely you'll be getting, you'll be secure more than 80 plus, right? So at the same time, uh, a few, very few, they are very uh, sharp in English. They can be able to write any uh, in, uh, questions in English. But some of them, they are not getting uh, that much of level. So that, uh, listen guys, reading newspaper is the best thing. You can crack English paper. So that English paper uh, for clerical examination, uh, whether you can uh, know or you don't know, you, you, you can able to get like five marks and 10 marks. But actually five and 10, it's not a, a mark that is not enough. So that you can read newspaper. A newspaper is a daily routine actually. So that once you're reading a newspaper, definitely you'll be secure more than 80 plus marks. Then you'll be come to know about how to handle passage, reading comprehensions. So what is the grammar and what is synonyms, antonyms has given. So you can able to crack the exam for a particular section like English. This is very important for the newspaper reading. Let's we discuss about eligibility criteria. Let's see the eligibility criteria, not below 20 years not about 28 years actually clearly mentioned not below 20 years not about 28 years as on date is given 1 8 2022 so candidate must have been born not earlier than 2 8 1994 and not later than 1 8 2002 here both dates are inclusive so date are inclusive right clearly given then if your age bar so no need to worry about that because uh, they're given age relaxation for upper age limit like SEST five years OBC three years so usually if it is 28 is the 28 years is the maximum so adding plus five SEST so 28 plus three for yes uh, for OBC categories right for OBC category 28 plus 3. So you can be able to write 31 years for OBC category and SCST category, you can be able to write 33 years so that uh, they are given age relaxation. Apart from that, so PWD general and uh, EWS economical week session category, 10 years for PWD. So these are the age relaxation. The second one is, um, of course, uh, educational qualification, essential academical qualification. So graduation in any discipline from a recognized university or any equivalent qualification recognized as such as by central government, can it have integral dual degree like IDD, we said like that IDD certificate, should ensure that the date of passing IDD is on or before 30 11 2022. 
actually many students they are getting confused so even they are uh, they are doing final year students so they are getting more confused we are doing final year students so that we are eligible for uh, examination or not so clearly mention so that if you are a final year students so the mark sheet actually uh, uh, i mean you will be getting a uh, on the last semester mark sheet before 30 11 2022 so you'll be complete the course as well as you'll be getting the result the final result before 30 11 2022 so if you are getting a result the final result before 30 11 2022 so you are eligible for examinations you are eligible for what examination so that's what clearly mentioned so that uh, 30 11 2022 right so that uh, produce proof of having passed the graduation examination on or before 30 11 2022 so clearly mentioned next one the very important thing is preliminary examination selection procedure how they are going to select the candidates let's see they are going to test three session so this three session like english numerical ability reasoning ability actually english they are asking 30 question 30 marks numerical ability 35 question 35 marks reasoning 35 question 35 marks each section you have a sectional timing like 20 minutes 20 minutes 20 minutes each section we have a sectional timing total 1 hour there is no composite time because we don't have a choice to choose any uh, section actually clearly mentioned 20 minutes is a sectional timing so we cannot choose any section so that 20 minutes is a each section once 20 minutes over the next section will be start so it would be stop the next session okay so one hour is a time actually the one hour is uh, more than enough to crack the examination because uh, uh, paper is very easy what i i said uh, initial starting uh, when i start the classes so that um, uh, you are getting 80 plus marks for out of 100 so you will be secure like 80 plus uh, marks along with the uh, application sums here english playing a vital role because 30 question uh, they are asking english so those who are very well versed in english they can able to secure more than 25 plus so those who are moderate they can able to secure like 20 plus so that below average students you will be very concentrate in the english paper so that reading english paper is very important once you read that definitely it will be very helpful to increase your score in english because uh you can secure like a uh, numerical ability and reasoning like out uh, 35 question you can you can able to secure like 30 30 marks it gives only 60 marks right so remaining 20 marks you can able to do that in english so we have a only one choice is that english paper so english session in that section you can able to do that if you very well in english uh, english so you, you can be able to do that more than 25 plus right so others so keep on reading and take uh, the past 2 3 years question paper and you can practice well then you can you can be able to do that in english paper actually english section so it is not very difficult so if you feel very difficult so try to read the newspaper right okay so actually um, sectional cut off there is no sectional cut off clearly mentioned so section wise mark will not be maintained so section cut off is not there so they will be considered overall cut off at the same time of course we have a negative mark 1/4 is a negative mark 0.25 is a penalty mark for each questions so that uh, you will be very concentrate in each and every questions so that you can write only correct questions so if supposed to be wrong don't attend this question please leave it okay next one actually how many numbers they can i mean they will be selected for preliminary exam actually they are going to take 1 is to 10 ratio 1 is to 10 ratio and before that this is very important language uh, because you have, you can apply uh, each i mean state vacancies are given state wise right so that they preferable language so local language is very important they are going to be test in your local language so local language is very very important there is no interview but they are going to be test your proficiency language right next one the second level mains examination so this is also actually very important thing the mains examination it playing a vital role mains examination because um, uh, whatever you are getting a mark they would be considered the merit mark of course uh, there are four session one is uh, financial awareness of uh, 50 questions 50 marks then general english 40 questions 40 marks quantitative aptitude 50 question 50 marks 
reasoning 50 more question they consider 60 marks right so sectional timing also given for financial awareness 35 minutes like general and financial awareness for the past 6 month issues is very very important so that's what i say so you can able to read newspaper or for the past 6 month uh, newspaper reading really helpful to craft the first paper general finance awareness paper the second thing is uh, 35 minutes has given general english that is more than enough then 45 minutes for quants and 45 minutes for reasoning and computer awareness actually here computer aptitude is given maybe five or two or five questions two to five question they asking from computer aptitude so most probably they asking question from reasoning only so that 45 minutes that is not more than enough because the question is also very difficult when i compare to the prelims part so of course mains question definitely difficult so that uh, 45 minutes is not not enough but anyhow try to do your best so that um, here out of uh, 200 so they can 190 questions so they consider 200 marks so total 2 hours 40 minutes actually you have to spend 2 hours 40 minutes in examination hall right then uh, of course uh, one fourth is a penalty mark same whatever it is 0.25 is a penalty mark each wrong question so 0.25 is a penalty mark at the same time uh, mains examination it playing a vital role right what i said before so it's playing a vital role and the very important thing is there is no interview right so that um, uh, this is very very important examination so once you are very strong in current affairs so definitely you will be clear in the examination right so these are the thing so you will be practice and take the previous year question paper and practice well so once you are clear preliminary examination so that um, you will be uh, definitely clear in the mains examination because you have some other knowledge about how to crack the exam so that's what uh, will be clear in the examination so all the best all the students at the same time um you, i mean um, uh, the fees the fees is very important actually what is a, a fees intimation charge like uh, 600 rupees i think so salary like uh, 26000 to 29000 20 from 26000 to 29000 salary then fees intimation charge so those who belongs to sc st so there is no fees nil general obc ews 750 rupees is a fees so that um, you can apply in the examination so eligibility uh, those who are completed graduation in any stream you can able to apply this exam so that um, uh, you can do very well so that once you uh, read the question paper i mean once you read the um, newspaper definitely it will be very helpful to the increase your english proficiency at the same time general awareness so that it's very helpful right so all the best all the students thank you